How do you feel about a friend with benefits, but instead of sexual benefits, it's just cuddling? Loki just want a baddie to scratch my back and tell me about her day, so sign me up. Need now. I'm lonely. It's too hot to cuddle. Maybe you're just too hot to cuddle, smirking face. Get a room damn it, I, mouth, I. How about instead of cuddling I get health and dental benefits. Health and dental only available with the mandatory cuddles plan. I'm sad that there are people out there who can't cuddle with their friends. It's not that we can't. It's just not a good idea. Some of us can't because of sex, but people like me can't because I'll find myself daydreaming about what our life together would look like in 30 years when our kids are in college. In theory, great, but in practice, there is a huge overlap between the people I'd want to cuddle with and the people I'd want to have sex with. For me, the cuddling would make most sense before or after sex. Sure, it doesn't have to be sexual, but if things are already that intimate, it isn't a far step to other feelings. On the other hand, just yesterday my cousin was telling me about this, how he and a friend were doing lots of cuddling, even reading the Cuddle Sutra which I guess is about platonic but intimate cuddle positions. He seems real happy about it, but I know if that were me, the emotional catharsis of cuddling and the physical catharsis of sex go best together. I might be happy to just cuddle, but damn I be super horny after, assuming I'm attracted to my cuddle partner, which could be safely assumed if I'm cuddling with them. On the other hand, just yesterday my cousin. I though this was going in another direction. Cousin, let's go bowling and cuddling. A girlfriend invited me to snuggle with her during a movie and I got a crick in my neck trying not to rest my head on her breasts. It just felt awkward. But I did have a male friend for a while who gave the best hugs, tight and long. I wasn't attracted to him, but it was nice to feel a man's body against mine when I was single. That would be better than a pillow. You mean body pillow? Any pillow really. I don't remember the last time someone hugged me. So I'll take it. Edit, these awards. I'm crying. Thank you so much. I love the Reddit community. Not loved in real life but sure loved on here. Thank you so much, heart. You okay buddy? Tried that with my roommate. We were both recently single and really missed cuddling so we tried what we called platonic cuddling to ease the loneliness. Didn't really work. I think there needs to be some level of chemistry between people for cuddling to have its desired effect and while we're really good friends it just didn't scratch that itch. This. Cuddling plus chemistry equals magic. There used to be parties in New York and other cities where people could go to cuddle complete strangers, with consent, in their pajamas. Moderators were always there to make sure nobody tried having sex. I don't know if they're still a thing. Strangers would be different than friends for me. I don't know strangers. I already partially love my friends. Sex aside, it'd be hard to cuddle with friends and not get emotionally hurt. A cuddle pile of near strangers would be far easier to handle. Wait why is it easy to get hurt cuddling with friends? I would probably love it at first, but I don't think it would last. It'd probably be too difficult to keep it non-sexual for the long term, so it'd either end or change. Tried it, but it turned into sex. Yep, spooning leads to forking. After forking, you clone it to your local machine and then commit changes. I sorta had that last year with a girl. We started sleeping together eventually and we fell in love. But we were both damaged goods and still needed time to heal. We become I like to say emotional FWBS because we talk to each other like we were dating. It's been a long ride with her and I had to stop talking to her cause of how cooch I felt for her. She came back to me though after a couple months. And now I'm so glad she did because we're meant to meet again and again. Sounds like you were just dating. I'm asexual. That's all I want. Removed. A slash suddenly sex offender. I love my dog. Same. Single so I cuddle my 100 pounds dog. Yeah, all these dirty MFS thinking cuddling always leads to the tonky tonks. 
Sometimes I just want to get platonic with a papa. I've had friends in the past that I cuddled with. The question to ask here, why just in the past? And, have you ever gotten horny while cuddling with one of them slash noticed they were? I do have a friend I'm cuddling with fairly often. And, I do like that. I do not want to destroy it. But, from time to time. Yes. I'm horny while doing so. So yeah. THSTSY masking. Smile. Why in the past? I knew someone would ask this. Most of my cuddle buddies were from high school. I graduated HS in 2017, and some of them graduated earlier. I haven't talked to them in ages and have no idea what they're doing with their lives today. I know one got arrested for either meth or coke earlier this year, but I think she's out now. I still have one great friend I talk to that I'll cuddle with sometimes, my best friend's second older sister. I haven't seen her since March due to various reasons, ex, covid, school, her job, etc, but I do talk to her occasionally. In fact, we messaged each other yesterday. And to answer your other question, sometimes a little bit with the girl I just mentioned. She's so beautiful, hugging the homies is top tier. I could see that on a t-shirt. I need one now. Had that arrangement with a friend in college. Would definitely do it again for multiple reasons. Gets rid of feelings of skin hunger slash touch starvation made me much more confident around women. Had a backslash tilde guaranteed date for miscellaneous formal social events. If you find someone open to this go ahead. Just know that they might break it off if they find someone that gives sex and cuddles. Also had this quite naturally with a friend in college, we had a very physically close friendship for years, but without any sex or sexual overtones. We were just comfy with each other and affectionate, sometimes even held hands. Stopped when he got a serious girlfriend though, as I'm sure it would have been crossing boundaries with their relationship. As in the cuddling stopped, but our friendship continued on. As far as I know, neither of us ever had romantic or sexual feelings for each other, and we often talked about our feelings about other people and relationships slash crushes we had, it was just a great friendship and I treasured it. You were very lucky. Honestly, that'd be nice. I could use a hug. We could probably all use a hug. Hugs are definitely one of things I'm missing being single during Covid. Or any human contact, really. I was grabbing my receipt and the cashier touched my skin. I was startled by how weird it felt. I feel like when this passes, I'll have to do some kind of touch therapy to be comfortable being touched again. Considering I already cuddle with my friends. That sounds fine lol. My friends and I frequently cuddle, sit in each other's laps and hold hands. Just normal for us. Probably what I miss the most having not seen any of them for 7 months, crying face. We should normalize platonic touching as a society. This whole thread is a reality check of how people can't separate physical touch to sex. Or maybe it's just reddit. I'm a guy and my best friend is a girl. Non-sexual friend cuddles are nice. I love it. There's a whole universe of this, people pay for it. Look into professional cuddling services. Paid cuddling? I don't know whether to be happy that people have access to that, or sad that they need it. Kind of like animal shelters, that just a good friend, the word benefits came when there are sex involved. Truth. Don't know why it's assumed to be sexual if you're affectionate with your friends. This is a woman, isn't it? Yes. Don't worry, I'm a guy and I just want that too. I have talked to every one of my friends and none want to because they're afraid I want it to lead to sex. I just want to cuddle. My dick gone get hard and then it gets awkward, man shrugging. That's what billows are for. Also, wear dark clothes on bottom. You assume they won't feel it? You're damn right they won't feel my 3 inches of sadness. I would have thought this was a practical idea when I was a teenager too. Just cuddling just making out just touch it a little bit just the tip yeah sounds familiar. Just a wee bit of penetration. Created a throwaway account for this. 
I'm a guy, with more female friends than most guys and have done cuddling with almost all of them without it ever being sexually tense. I guess I am harmless for them and just genuinely give cuddles so it works. But make no mistake, I am 100% straight and did hookups and stuff with people I matched on Tinder. But for friends? If they need a cuddle, I'll give them that cuddle, no funny business whatsoever. Genuine question, why did you make a throwaway for this comment, in case someone he cuddled with didn't know he cuddled with them? This is more than fine but, in my experience, it's rarely a balanced relationship and one of the respective cuddlers is often secretly hoping things turn sexual or romantic. Cuddling can be dangerous territory. Before I started dating my ex, she kept asking me to cuddle and trying to convince me that it was normal for friends to cuddle where she's from. The day I finally took her up on her offer she kissed me and gave me a blowjob. I'm not sure if I believe in platonic cuddling anymore. It was just a platonic blowjob.